In a course where we work with exponents and radicals, or exponents and thirds, we often find ourselves in a position of having to simplify a single radical like this. The trick is to find the factors of the number on the inside, and especially to find the largest factor of that number that is a square. 75 has the factors 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. And the largest of those factors that is a square is 25. So this can be rewritten as the square root of 25 times 3. Then, because the square root of 25 is 5, we can bring the 5 to the outside, and we just have the 3 left on the inside. The 3 is trapped on the inside because it cannot be simplified further. Root 75 is therefore equal to 5 root 3. The largest factor of 63 that is a square is 9. So I can rewrite it as the square root of 9 times 7. Since the square root of 9 is a 3, this becomes 3 root 7, with the 7 trapped inside the radical. 32 is a number where you have to be a little more careful because 32 has more than one factor that is a square. 32 has 4 as a factor, but it also has 16. The largest factor of 32 that is a square is 16, so we write 16 times 2, and since the square root of 16 is 4, this becomes 4 root 2. Here we have the square root of 400, and this is a bit of a trick question, because the largest factor of 400 that is a square is 400 itself. 400 is 20 squared. So the square root of 400 is just equal to 20, and we don't need a radical in that final answer. Now what if we had done the square root of 32 without noticing the factor 16? If we had only noticed the factor 4, we say, oh, 32 has 4 as a factor and 4 as a square. So we rewrite it as the square root of 4 times 8. Taking the square root of 4 out, a 2, we have 2 root 8. But then we have to notice that 8 also has a factor that is a square, 4 again. So we can write 2 root 8 as 2 root 4 times 2. Since the square root of 4 is 2, we bring a 2 to the outside. We have our original 2 times a new 2 that comes out from the square root of 4, and we have root 2. Since 2 times 2 is 4, we end up writing 4 root 2 as our final answer. Now this took longer. But it's just as good as this. In terms of finding the correct final answer, it's 4 root 2 either way. This is how you simplify a single radical or a single third.